Urinary tract infections, they're pretty common, aren't they? Very common. Um, what's the most common reason for somebody to get a urinary tract infection? Most of the time, it's usually contamination with rectal bacterials. So when a woman who wipes herself from the anus toward the front quickly... They will be carrying the bacteria from the anus, which is usually an E. coli or an enterococcus. They will colonize the introitus and it goes up the urethra. So women are more prone than men, in other words. Women are more prone. Now, it's very important when you have this urinary tract infection to determine what kind of a bacteria you have. If it's the most common, like an E. coli or an enterococcus, then usually those are the common type of bacteria. They usually are, by just giving somebody a little bit of a urinary antiseptic, you can control this. On the other hand, if you develop anyone like Pseudomonas, like Klebsiella, one of the weird bacteria, they are usually urea-splitting organisms. In those organisms, you have to identify where they're coming from. And a lot of times, you have either an obstruction of the urine, you cannot empty the bladder very well, you carry a large residual, you have a stone, or you have any kind of a blockage any place in the kidneys. So it's very your, important to find out why. So you call your doctor up and he says, well, I, I think I have a bladder infection, and he calls up a prescription. Without doing a urine couch, it's not a good practice, is it? It's really not a good culture, it's not, a, not a good practice, because a lot of times, a lot you of know, women... exceptions are made. Yeah, there are exceptions. I mean, it happens in the middle of the night, and this is the first or the second time. I mean, you can prescribe it. I mean, you can, you can give somebody... But idealistically, you want to get a urine culture. You should, you should have a, a urine culture. And there are a lot of people that they refer to urologists because they have a recurrent urinary tract infection. They never had a culture. They're always treated because it happens at 7 o'clock at night, 8 o'clock, 10 o'clock in the middle of the night. They call their doctor. The vacation. first thing you got to do is you got to give them something in order to get them by this thing. And you have to investigate whether or not they really have a urinary infection or they have some other causes for this. So the basic rule for an adult, we're not talking to a kid now, if you get a couple of urinary tracts, eventually you're going to have to do a couple of studies on the kid. Person. You have to do a couple of studies, definitely. That would be like a sonogram. You do a sonogram of the kidneys and the bladder, and that's going to tell you whether or not you have any major anomaly. If you have anything that you find, then you go and you comb down those studies a little bit deeper. And the couch is more than just what you have it. It tells you what organism, how much, and sometimes it tells you what drug might work. Is that true? That is correct. Now, remember one thing. In women, usually you say over 100,000 colonies. But sometimes between 10,000 and 100 colonies is also significant. In men, any amount of colonies are very important. So, in other words, the judgment of a doctor is it's very important. It's very important. Now, if you're dealing with prostatitis, most of the cultures, unless somebody is running one of four temperature and they got tremendous amount of burning and pus discharge through the penis, most of the cultures are usually negative. They have seen that if they culture the, the urine more than five days, they're going to grow something. But most of the labs, since they're commercial labs, it's usually anti-economical for them to keep the plates for more than 24 hours in their incubators if there is nothing growing. So they discard it originally. What we do is we do something which is called a VV3. We give somebody a prostatic massage and they urinate and the first urine that they pass after the prostatic massage, that is culture. That usually carries the bacteria and the secretion from the prostate and you see what kind of a bug comes out in there. And it's important.